Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Yeah, ADA continues to grind down further in this descending wedge pattern we have been have been tracking. Yesterday we identified the potential for another low due to this triangle pattern. With that low, uh, which happened, it broke quite aggressively actually below the more imminent um, or nearest support. So we can take that off and just highlight does it change anything for the analysis not really so ada as you know we are still expecting potentially another bear market low we are expecting price action within this range it's quite a broad range so you could get some volatile movement but pretty directionless so pretty much sideways directed you need to be aware of that um, it is at the moment not impulsive in any direction so we see continuous sideways action but of course you will get your ups and downs within the range um, the lower trend line is just for illustration purposes there of this trend line this might change depending on where the price will eventually turn around but we obviously have a trend line up here and this entire move as already suggested in previous videos looks like a triangle so basically bigger picture nothing changed even on the um, in the lower degree wave counts, um, it's still in the same scenario because if you remember, we highlighted that these triangles, they have five waves. Okay, so completed the A wave, completed the B wave, completed the C wave, and the D wave can end somewhere here in this region. Um, it's hard to say where exactly. We can try to define that um, further in this video. It had a chance to turn around already, but as I said to you, we still expect lower. So if it comes down lower, we've got the descending trend line of the wedge. And below that level, um, potentially further levels down there, we're going to take a look at that in this video. But the current assumption is that either the D wave of the triangle, which is only followed by the E wave, uh, that the D wave already finished on the 7th of August, or we are currently still in the D wave. Yeah, uh, so basically it doesn't change much. And as I said before, I don't think this chart demands any action unless you really want to trade the range, which is potentially dangerous because it is pretty much trendless. I will nevertheless show you the relevant trend reversal areas, support areas that are relevant. But honestly, we are not in a situation here where we have a clear setup. Okay, I just need to make that clear again because um, it's just grinding down and you get you will get unexpected volatility in this triangle. But the thing is, any volatility in this triangle doesn't really have any impact on the bigger picture unless we get a break above 38 cents. And until we get a break above 38 cents and it is following the yellow wave count, which is the more bullish one, which I need to see evidence for, um, another low is expected eventually because this triangle would be expected to break down or... If we see the first impulse to the upside, but then I need to see a signal first, we can we can get more optimistic. But so far, um, this triangle forecast has has been correct, and I just want to explain that again and outline it again, just that people understand that um, we're in a broader range and we could be in that range for a little while. Okay, so that's the drop yesterday. Um, obviously. We were waiting for another low. As I said, I go to the one hour chart now. We had this triangle on the chart. You know, we had this triangle on the chart, counted that as a potential wave four. Had the wave five been short, then this could have ended here. Oops, one second. Um, this could have ended the B wave with a rally in a C wave to come. But as you know from yesterday's video, we so far didn't have any evidence that the C wave had already started so it seems like the B wave decided to extend a bit now this is one interpretation um, but I would have to take the sub waves out then and we are interpreting it just a little bit differently just changing this okay um, so that the one second that the B wave itself turned into a larger ABC with the triangle was actually a B wave then so like that okay so that tells us that this could just simply be already the e wave which is unfolding here and the d wave finished and we have an a b c structure there are different ways how this can unfold now if it drops much lower than that then it might 
let's see, the theoretical limit for such an overshooting B wave. I mean, can you understand that? The D wave of the triangle finished here on the 7th of August. That's the current interpretation, the best I can offer. Then um, the A wave rallied up. The B wave is coming down. It can still drop lower, but this is the B wave of the E wave. So the E wave will be the last wave of the triangle. That is one interpretation I've got here. Be careful with that one um, because um, we're in a downtrend, okay? So I'm just watching, I'm just using this wave count to watch for potential lows, but I don't think there is any reliable trade setup here. That's a clear difference. We're tracking the waves to look for setups, but I don't see one at this stage. Uh, what did I want to do? One second. Now, oh, for some reason, it, took, it deleted my... Um, I might need to look at another chart. Anyway, one second. Ah, oh, there you go. Um, one second. So, yeah, overshooting B wave. The 1.38 retracement is theoretically the limit for an overshooting B wave. So we haven't we haven't broken that. So I could just explore at the moment the idea that this is just an overshooting B wave. So A wave, B wave, C wave. The C wave might get another low. If it slightly slightly overshoots the 1.38, no problem. Um, if it goes anywhere below that, much below that level that I just shared with you here, 27.3 cents, then we probably have an extension of the D wave which is no problem, which is what we talked about before anyway. So if we cannot form a local low here in a B wave of wave E, then the D wave of the triangle is still unfolding. And as explained before, that D wave can use the entire space all the way down to 23 cents if it needs to, if it needs to. So we are using that information to look for a lasting low. So far, we haven't got that. Anyway, a lasting low, it won't be a lasting low because uh, essentially, if we're in a triangle, a, a new bear market low would essentially be expected. Okay. Um, so yeah, if it drops much further, I might have to to reshuffle here the lower degree wave count again. But I think what you need to take from this analysis is uncertainty within the triangle. We can see further price action for a little while. Another bear market low, as long as we don't break above 38 cents, is expected. Even here in this D wave, we might drop lower. Support here, by the way, would be 25.3 cents. We can just define that again. Where did that come from? Uh, that just came from the idea that we have here an A, B, C structure in the D wave. A, B, C. And then the one to one ratio is 25.3 cents. Now, again, that's just a level to watch. The micro count might change here if we drop much lower. So I might have to readjust that. But at the moment, we go with that. Um, as I said, there isn't really a clear setup anyway. And as long as we don't have a confirmation that the trend has shifted, the short-term focus needs to be on lower. But as you can see, we're moving still in this um, wedge pattern. And ex as explained yesterday, a break above the wedge pattern would be a first indication that this C wave rally has started. But at the moment, uh, we just haven't got that break. And it might actually break to the downside the way it's going. And then I would pay attention to 25.3 cents. That's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.